All right, so all you guys and gals, very lucky of all of you, are getting a bonus video uh, for today. Uh, I figure I kind of want to just get this quick video out before, you know, it's, a little, it's about two hours now to Sphere Finance launch. Obviously, a lot of Titano forks are more or less doing very well, right, especially after the Tomb Fork disaster. Uh, but, like I originally thought, you know, as long as crypto keeps going up and money comes back into crypto, Tomb Fork should hopefully recover. And thank God, I'm actually, and thank Jesus, I can actually see that happening as we speak. Obviously, Tomb Forks are still under a lot of pressure, but it's getting, it's getting better and better over time. So, it's quite possible that there's going to be, uh, there might be insider information being traded on right now. Uh, because ahead of the Federal Reserve decision tomorrow, quote unquote. So I'm also probably gonna go live tomorrow too. I just want to see what the reaction is, and, you know, and then I'll do a quick Q and A AMA for everybody. So you know, if you want to participate, um, it should be. Let me find out when is the FOMC meeting. What time? Let me see if they could actually. I, at this point, there's got to be a. Uh, okay, let's see. They gotta give me a time. Like all they have is just this. I mean, I know it's gonna be tomorrow, but do do you have like a time? All right, here we go. So we want to go to March 16. So the press conference, selected interest rates. What? Selected interest rates. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know what this means. So. There's a two-day meeting, March 15 and 16, press conference. Oh, okay, so either it's at 2 o'clock tomorrow or 4.15. So I'm not really sure. Well, there's a press conference beforehand, so they're obviously going to have to release the interest rates at 2 o'clock. Okay. I don't know. I'll go live some with one of those two. I'm not going to stream for like two, three hours. That's just going to make me uh, not very happy. So... Uh, well, it's nice to know that their thing is still kind of bugged. <laughs> All right. Well, wow, Titano's already popping off like crazy. Okay. Wow, it's already almost 18 cents. Are you serious? I mean, it was going up, but yeah, it's almost at 18 cents. It's like 17.47 on deck screening. Liberals recovering. Caesar was under a lot of pressure, and unfortunately, it looks like it just is still under more pressure, which is very annoying. Like... You know, I really would like to see that go back up. All right, well, I mean, there's still a lot of pump and dumpers on Caesar still. So hopefully uh, that 20% sell tax is really, you know, up in the Caesar treasury bag at least. Okay, so Poseidon uh, recently just put out an announcement on Discord. I've got a lot of content in the queue, so that's why I want to just get this out real quick. So they put out an announcement out saying that basically Phantom is a shit blockchain, as we all know, and it's cursed, right? You know, obviously paraphrasing. They obviously were saying it in a much nicer way. And they said that they now want to go cross-chain. I mean, I heard rumblings of that, like yesterday, but the dev, V Poseidon, I think his name was, was just simply saying that in the general chat. So I was waiting for a formal announcement, which they now announced. So according to this... Let me see. The team is currently thinking about a migration of our protocol on a new blockchain. And they gave Polygon, Binance, Smart Chain, Avalanche, etc. as examples. But there are many parameters to take into account and it is for the moment only at the stage of discussion. In bold. Share your opinion in the chat. And of course, we will still remain as active on both blockchains if this decision is taken. And I'm 100% sure everyone's uh, already... I'm sure, especially if I pop in and say, yeah, go cross-chain because Phantom sucks. But everyone universally now agrees that Phantom is shit. Uh, and funny enough, Phantom right now is actually recovering finally because uh, crypto overall is recovering. So, you know, just more money coming in and out, and that's just a good thing for all of us. So, uh, so a lot of things have changed with Poseidon. They've constantly been trying to work on the rebasing issue, which I think they kind of more or less solved because I don't hear anyone complaining about it. Uh, and then they also have to reduce the APY, this is the more important thing, and it's more or less basically like Titano. I don't know the exact APR of Titano, it's like 102% a year, right? So this is essentially a little bit more than Titano. 
Uh, and the nice thing is the price on Poseidon has been beaten up so much. Uh, and we'll actually re probably remain under uh, quite a bit of pressure unless we get a lot of money flooding in the just crypto overall. And then Poseidon, you know, catches a little bit of that money on their face, right? Like that, that meme, right? You know, shower my face, shower my face. So, you know, and apparently the real reason why it's under so much constant pressure is actually because of the nfts which i always said was a stupid idea and i didn't even take this into account and yeah i'm not surprised because the nfts don't actually do anything and it just prints a lot of poseidon and then you just dump the whole thing and that's what and basically it's going to be under a lot of pressure until stupid june right june 14th i think it said right because the nfts print for 100 days so it's kind of very annoying right for the most part but well, whatever. I mean, they'll go cross chain, whatever. It's technically in the sta uh, discussions ch uh, stages, but I'm 100% sure they're going to do it because they kind of have to. You have to get off Phantom, right? Phantom just sucks, right? Yeah, it's doing better now, but when things start going bad again, and they always do, like a pullback, Phantom always. I mean, Phantom just gets hit harder than normal, right? Because you still have the super predator problem, right? There's still remnants of that Andre Kronje uh, FUD, right? And I'm. But again, I'm still glad it's up like a lot percent. So, you know, you can't count Phantom out. But, I mean, we really, it's it, it, it's just such a volatile, problematic blockchain that we just have to leave, right? I mean, taking it off the leave, all you do is just bridge to a go cross chain, and that's it. And then you just keep things the way they are in Phantom until they get their shit together, if they ever do. Which I think they will, right, over a long period of time. And, you know, Poseidon will eventually recover. But, I mean, that stupid NFT idea, like the Ocean Project, it was just, you know, it's just going to keep dumping on the price, which is what's causing this to happen. So, that being said, it's a very cheap price. Uh, right now, I'm doing the Poseidon Black, right, beta. And I don't know when they're going to, because I hear two, like, conflicting things about when Poseidon Black is going to launch. So, it's either... In a week or two, which I somewhat doubt, but the announcement from Poseidon Black also said, I don't know. They're, I, I th okay, I think I understand why I'm getting confused because they're gonna let the Poseidon Black, uh, they're gonna let the basic Black beta test run until June 11th or June 14th. So it happens to be right when the NFTs end. And the actual launch of Poseidon Black is, I'm not sure when. They'll maybe, I think they say they'll try for a week. I think that's, okay, I think that's what they're saying. But they're not really sure. And on top of Poseidon Black is under a lot of stress, so you need some rest. So probably a few weeks at least. But to be honest, I'm actually quite satisfied with the basic Black uh, beta test. So, you know, they're probably going to need a little more time to deal with things. So anyway, you know, Titanic Forks is still hot. You know, Poseidon is definitely a, a legit program. It's just, you know, it just is it's a little shitty how, you know, it just got cucked by like 11 million different problems. If 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 Poseidon was on AVAX instead of Phantom and they did exactly the same things, you know, this should be doing better. It'll still be under a lot of price pressure because of the stupid NFT idea, but at least it'll be somewhat comparable to Caesar. So it'd be like having one and a half Caesar tokens, right? And then once the NFTs are over, assuming they don't put out any more stupid NFTs, and now that we know about the cross-chain thing, I think they'll be devoting all their programming resources to the eventual cross-chaining, right? And, uh, you know, for the most part, I just look at this as a legitimate but lower quality Titano fork, right? But with that being said, I mean, it's hard to find legit projects these days. So I, I, I saw my Demeter video. That thing has the most views out of, uh, out of today. And it's insane to me that all you degenerates want to really actually try to check it out. And I'm like, all right, I mean, good luck. But uh, I, I, I need something safer and legit. And, you know, I just want to chill. All right, I already have enough. I already have my hand in a lot of projects. And, of course, I'll slowly expand. But I just want like safe projects now. All right, I need to I need to keep my money. You know, I need to keep making money. And if what I'm seeing, oh wow, look at that! Bitcoin's already pushing 40k. So I don't know. I'm thinking there might be some sort of insider trading going on right now. And yeah, stocks are flying right now. Fed nominee asking withdrawals. That's great. Here are the banks cutting overdraft fees. Even better. 
So dollar slightly up and yeah, my sh crappy Mara or whatever. So anyway, check it out. It's basically a, a really cheap version of Titan or Caesar, but stuck on Phantom. But thanks to the cross chain announcement and which is in discussion as they placed in bold, you know, make sure you join the Discord and tell them go cross chain because at this point they don't really have any other better options, right? Like this ocean project is just useless. I so whatever, but you know, these things will be temporary and basic black is basically printing me Poseidon, so I don't really care. Um, so I'm good enough with that. Uh, but I am expecting the price to remain under pressure, so just keep that in mind. And obviously don't ape into this, right? Don't pull all your money into this project because you'll make the same exact mistake I did with Metaverse Pro. And then now, you know, you're going to have just $400 in your bank account, right? And then now you're going to be playing, clawing your way back up to the top. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to go make food. Uh, I want to get ready for Sphere uh, Finance launch. It's going to be good. So I think I should be live tomorrow, and that's the only video I'll do, right? Because technically I, I want to take a day off, but tomorrow is a very special day. Like it's, I will be shocked if the Fed actually does not do, does not raise interest rates, and then we're we're just completely effed. We're completely screwed. So I mean I can't even imagine the the, the central bank, uh, the Federal Reserve being that stupid. But you never really know. You never really know. So. All right, thanks for, for watching. Uh, check out Poseidon Finance XYZ. All right, this is always funny. Everyone does XYZ. And I'm going to try a slightly new different thing. I'm going to try to, because these are projects that I want to look up, you know, go over once in a while, right? You know, I'm going to write Poseidon Finance Revisited 2022 as in the year. So, you know, see how that goes, right? Doesn't hurt, because there's actually a lot of people, because I never search the year or very rarely, like once like in a blue moon i guess but it, a lot of people actually search you know the year right and which makes sense right because people want you know the latest up-to-date info so i want to start ranking for that you know i'll check it also check it out because i'm pretty sure every single year i'm always going to do like a you know titano finance revisited video and i'm going to put a year a year stamp on it right 2023 2024 2025 so on and so forth so it'd be kind of actually it'd be kind of nice to see you type in my name, Johnson Chan, Titano Revisited. You look at all the videos and look at the progression of the project, right? Or degression, right? What's the opposite of progression? Regression, I guess, right? So anyway, uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to be around 2 o'clock or 4.15 Eastern New York City time, right? Because I don't know when they're going to have the actual... I don't know. I just want to know when they're going to make the announcement, like change the Federal Reserve interest rates for America and, and then go live on their press conference. So I just want to see I just want to see what the what the reaction is. And I'll just basically answer your questions for until I don't feel like it. And then I log off. So because we're not going to listen to the whole stupid thing. We just know that it's just going to be BS. So. All right. See you uh, tomorrow. I'm not quite sure when. So make sure you uh, you really got some questions. That's the best time to ask me. All right. Thanks.